Hello! In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Revolve feature in Onshape. A lot of times people ask me, especially physics students, how to model a cone. And there are several ways you can go about that, but my favorite is to use the Revolve feature. This is a different way of taking your two-dimensional sketch and turning it into a 3D object. Usually we use the Extrude feature that just goes straight up and makes the thing three-dimensional in a straight line. The revolve feature sort of does the same thing, only it's revolving around an axis. That might sound a little bit vague and unclear right now, but it should be really obvious in a second when I show you. First, I need to start a sketch here. Make a sketch on the front plane. And I'm just going to draw a right triangle with plane line segments. One, two, three. There's a right triangle. And I'll make it a three, four, five triangle. Three, four. There. There we are. Nice three, four, five triangle. Give it a name. All right, now I'll look at it from the corner up here so you can see what happens and start the revolve feature. Now extrude just needs the um, sketch region that you're going to extrude, but revolve needs something extra. I need the sketch region and the axis to revolve around, so I need to click in here. And what I'll do is pick this line right here as the revolve axis. And blink, what it's doing is it's spinning the whole triangle around like this to create a cone. And if I pick different lines, here we go, it'll revolve around those different axes instead. But I'm going to stick with this one. Make it a cone. There, that's my favorite way to model a cone. But the, you can do a little bit more with the Revolve feature, too. If I edit this sketch here and add a little bit of extra geometry, I'll get rid of this three line on the bottom here. Delete sketch entity. And let's say I want some zigzag lines on the bottom of my cone. I can go all... This is going to be pretty ugly. There. Yeah, that's going to look really silly. But it will extrude it just fine. And because my bottom line wasn't perfectly straight, there's even a deep conical hole in it. So revolve can be useful for things like this that have to that have to be round but have a fairly complicated profile. But you can even go farther than that. You can have the revolve axis be outside of your sketched shape. So I'll go back to the front here and start a new sketch. Let's say I want to recreate the revolve icon up here. So first I'll pick the construction geometry tool here that you can use to create lines that shouldn't be part of an part of a profile that you're gonna make 3D. There, that's just going to be my axis line. And I'll draw a circle over here. And say how big I want it to be. And if I click on the circle and then on the line, I can say how far apart I want those to be. There. That should be a big hint as to what's going to happen when I revolve this. Go back out to the corner again and say revolve. Now, if I select that as the sketch region again, and then pick my line as the revolve axis, I'll get a nice donut shape. 
that's revolving around the whole way, but if I pick this sim drop down box here, I can say one direction, and then I can say to not revolve around the whole di the whole way. This one up here looks to me like it's going about 240 degrees, so I'll say 240. There. There we are. So that's pretty much all I have to show you right now about the Revolve feature in Onshape. I hope that's useful.